and welcome to a new vlog. All right, it is August 1st and you probably won't see this till September 1st, okay? Because I've decided, so sorry for the fan, it's literally almost 100 degrees. Not right now, but just in general this summer, okay? It's freaking hot. But you'll probably hear some fan noises. Get over it, I'm sorry. It has to happen. But I did say that hmm, you probably won't see many vlogs from me, which you won't. I think I'm going to start doing monthly vlogs. So just film whenever, wherever, however for the entire month and then post it the next month. I think I will like vlogging much more doing it, doing it that way. And then I'll just have more frequent podcasts. And I am working on the color of my Marco Polo. In my last video, I ended off showing this off, but now I am on the actual collar part going back and forth. I want to finish the collar tonight. It is 6 p.m., so I don't think that's actually doable, like realistic, because obviously, if you've watched my other videos, I'm working on 2.5 millimeter needles. Okay, I am doing rib. I'm trying to untangle this from, oh, there we go. I am doing rib, but actually the collar is on two millimeter needles. So this is two millimeter that I'm working on right now. Yeah, that's crazy. But this month I want to finish all of my whips. This is a whip video, okay? I want to finish every single whip that I have on the needles in this month. And you may think I'm crazy for that. Why? Because I have six projects on the needles right now that need to be casted off. <laughs> Three of them are sweaters. Mm -hmm. And one of them is this. Another one is a sock. And another one is a project that I'm actually going to frog. I was doing my Louvre sweater, but I was not happy working on it. I casted it on in January and I got, I split for the sleeves and the body. I started a lot of the body. Then I was just like, I don't feel like working on this. So I gave it to one of my sisters. Neither of them worked on it for months and months and months. And it's been seven months, almost eight months at this point. So I just, uh, Alex said, why don't you just use it for a project that we can all knit together in like October or something, we plan to knit something by Ozetta, one of her thicker sweaters, like worsted weight, mm, little thicker sweaters on like six millimeter needles. I'm like, perfect, perfect. Okay, that sounds like the best plan ever. So that's what I'm gonna do with that yarn. So that's no longer a whip. So now I'm down to five whips. I have three sweaters, one sock, and this shirt. So this shirt, I want to finish exactly a week from now, okay? And then after that, I want to do the Mamba sweater. I am at the sleeves part. So basically, if you would say split for the body and the sleeves, except there's nothing to split because it's a drop shoulder type of sweater. But I've, I'm finished with the yoke and now I'm on to the sleeves. So I want to finish that within a week, <laughs> a week from continuing it. And then after that, I want to do the Leon sweater and finish that within a week of <laughs> picking it back up. And then it'll, and then that's the 24th for the Leon sweater. And then I'm going to knit on my socks the day I film and post my podcast. And I want to finish both socks on that day. I'm halfway through one of them. It's very ambitious, okay? And then the next day I'm going to the Beyonce concert. So while I'm at the concert, I'm going to bring my October sweater. And then from Beyonce's concert, which is the 25th until the 31st, I'm going to finish my October sweater. Which is six days of working on it. <laughs> but listen, okay, every single sweater that I have on the needles, I have split for the sleeves and the body. So I just have the body and the sleeves left. And I can always do a body and sleeve combo within a week. So, I'm going to be doing a lot of this. A lot of this. Mm. A 
lot of this, okay? Because that's a lot of knitting. And I only want to do this much knitting because I want to cast off all of these projects. Projects. All right? Okay? Do you understand what I'm saying? That's what I want to do so that September can be a fresh month for fresh projects. Because for September, I want to work on the Arctic Light sweater and the balloon sweater. So, that's what I want to do for this month. Okay? That's my schedule. And I will try my hardest to stick by it. Okay? So, the first thing on the list, obviously, is this Marco Polo. I want to finish it seven days from now. In seven days, I need to be finished with this. Yes, in seven days, I need to be finished with this. So, the sleeves and the rest of the body. And then my brain can rest, okay? It can rest. Knowing that I at least have one <laughs> test knit, especially, off. <gasps> Oops, I just tore my yarn. Crap. <laughs> one test knit off the needles. And project off the needles, okay? Anyway, that is all that I have for you guys. Thank you so much for listening to this very, very long intro. I just rubbed it back together. Oh my gosh. And I will see you guys later because this is literally the most random thing ever. I don't know what I'm going to film in this month, but you will see. Okay, bye. Hey guys, we are, we as in my sisters and I, are headed out with our boyness, boyness, and we just got some breakfast, McDonald's breakfast, I like to get sausage McMuffin with eggs, two of them, and a hash brown. I finished my sleeve last night, but I was too tired to record and tell you guys and start the next one but i am on track to finishing tomorrow like i planned and i brought my project in my mood bag oh, oh i seat built my bag in but i brought my mood bag with my project in it and someone's phone just fell <laughs> but yeah enjoy this trip and enjoy my show. <laughs> literally filmed nothing yesterday besides me knitting in a car yeah. and that was about it but so. day two of this week of doing our little business things and I am halfway through the sleeve so that's exciting I didn't knit while we were because we have like meetings and stuff I knitted I didn't knit like the first half of it but the second half of it I was like falling asleep I'm like mm -mm -mm, I'm sorry I gotta knit because mm -hmm. I'm I'm literally turning in my chair like, <clears throat> I was about to do a 360. I was so sleepy and so fidgety. And I was like, you know what? Let me knit. I didn't realize that knitting actually helped me concentrate more because when I tell you when I started knitting, I started paying attention. Okay. I was paying attention even more. I wasn't sleepy anymore. I mean, I got sleepy as the time came for us to leave. But other than that, I was focused. I was just like, oh my gosh, I forgot I was even knitting because I'm just doing stockinette on the sleeve. And I was just like, oh my god. So, yeah. Anyway, I want to.
gonna be done with my sleeve today. So no matter what time we get home, I am going to stay up and finish my sleeve. So that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna try to knit the entire time I'm in this meeting. So yeah. Oh, also the sisters. Hello. Okay, hello. Malika. <laughs> okay, it's so dark, but whatever. <laughs> Bye. yesterday I finished both sleeves oh wait where are the sleeves sleeve sleeve yes okay so I'm gonna start doing the laundry nudes first we wash I put a bunch everyone be like yeah I put a little drop no I just put a bunch I don't care this is what I use Yuplan. And I used the eucalyptus one so it could smell as, so it could keep its woolly scent as much as possible because I like the woolly scent, okay? I don't like all the extra sweet scents and stuff, no. And eucalyptus smells great, like a plant. So, let's tilt you back down and put that in there. I cropped it, so yeah. Anyway, you guys will see this on a blocking mat later. I'll leave that for like an hour. I, I'm actually going to move this to the other sink since this is the sink I use all the time. And this sink we don't really use as often. So I'll put it in here. And then when it's done, I'm gonna leave it in here for an hour. When it's done, I'll come back, squeeze it out, and pin it to the board. I'm actually gonna pin it, and my battery's about to die. So, bye for that. Hello, you know what I said? I was gonna show you guys me blocking that shirt. Yeah, I lied. <laughs> so sorry. Right after I blocked it, it was like, mm, basically nighttime. It was the next day, it dried literally the next day, and I just did not feel like recording anything filming anything nothing okay anyway i'm working on my october sweater now because i was gonna work on my mama sweater but then all of our meetings is just like information 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 and i did not want to work on cables while also trying to figure out what the heck they were talking about in our meetings so i switched up my timeline instead of doing my mama sweater this week i'm doing my october sweater <laughs> And I feel like I already said this, like talked about this, but yeah, I got like 13 centimeters done in one day and it was amazing. So now I'm trying to finish the rest of this body today. So this is my waist. Okay. This is where a normal sweater would stop and I'll go straight to the ribbing. No. I still have to do like seven more centimeters of the body before the ribbing. So I'm probably going to have like that much more to go. So it's probably going to hit my crotch before the ribbing. And then I have to do the ribbing. So that's like 20 something more rows, rounds to do, which I can do that. I can do that. I can try to do that. <laughs> no, I can 100% do that. So I want to... Are you over there? Hey. Can't with your camera like that? <laughs> yeah. So my sisters and I are about to go out. Ship out some orders that we got for our D stash, and then knit and stuff. So I'm going to. I was about to go, you know, and then I looked at the yarn that I had, and I was like, Oh my god! I only have this much. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I, I can see you right there. I'm like, dude. You know, over here filming you like this. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? <laughs> that was funny. 
yeah i only have this much yarn left of my second skein of yarn so i need to wind up another one i just opened up a new opened up a new yarn ball so i'm good i'm yarn ball mohair ball so i'm good on that so even though i'm most likely not going to use up all of this while we're out i am not taking chances okay i need to make sure that i have enough yarn just in case i'm only not going to bring an extra mohair because i just opened it up yesterday so i know that that's good okay so that's what i'm gonna do and i am so excited to finish this like i think i'm gonna stay up today so that i can finish it for real for real for real i'm serious okay we'll see if i finish the entire body but i want to at least finish the body before it's moving so i have this i have my swift and we're about to wind it up okay bye Hardy horror. Why is it so dark? Hold on. Because you're against the light. Oh, you're right. Let me brighten it. No, or I just work. grab it. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mr. Bobbin or Malika. And in today's video, I'm going to be living on the October sweater. Jesus Christ. Hold on. Let me turn this down. <laughs> Knitting <laughs> on the October Good girl going back. Yuck. Let's get it. Goodbye. She'll be knitting. Yep. I knocked my camera. Over and out, guys. have finished the body of my October sweater and I'm just loving how squishy it is because like oh two by two rib is literally my favorite rib ever it has a split hem which is super cool love that I'm just remembering that this collar these stitches are picked up for the collar I'm pretty sure yeah, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy I got that done before. So I am, oh, I am currently on the sleeves. I started it last night. So I finished the front part of the body last night and I started the sleeve last night, but I didn't get far before I went to bed. And yes, you can see that it is an entirely different dye lot. Do I care? No. I am not someone who cares to change or exchange or do whatever helical knitting, whatever, to make sure that everything is like disseminated nicely. I don't care. I really don't. <laughs> However my project turns out, like yarn wise, is how it's going to turn out because to me knitting is just art. So I'm not going to try to perfect things. I think. If this, to me, like my mindset is, if this came out in the store looking like this, people would eat it up. So why am I worrying about my dye lots being different? I don't care. But I decided, decided, 
so much is going on in my brain right now because yesterday I made a revolutionary decision, decision, decision going forward when it comes to my knitting. It is very revolutionary, something I have never, ever, ever done before, something that I have always said I would never do. And it's basically crumbling my reason for knitting in the first place. Which, that's what happens when you grow, okay? The other day, well this week, made two years that I've been knitting. You guys can see that on my channel because I documented the first time I ever picked up knitting needles, okay? I did the whole process so you guys already, you guys who've been here from when I transitioned from crochet to knitting, you have been through this journey with me for the past two years of me knitting, which is amazing. But yeah, so I made a decision and it has plagued my mind, my dreams. I'm making so many notes. I'm researching so many things, learning so many things. And it's like making me even more excited to knit more because I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be looking at everything in a different light. I'm going to be learning so much and it's just going to be amazing. Okay. So amazing. And I can't wait to announce it to you guys. It's probably going to be something I do or like tell you guys next year because I want to be able to Whenever I do something, I like to do as much research as possible to gather enough knowledge and enough skills in my arsenal so that when I am ready to do something, I can just execute it. And, you know, usually it's like, you know, if you're able to do it now, just start it. But for me, there's no rush to it. For me, I, like, this isn't something that is going to, well, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about that because every time I say, oh, it's not going to be something that blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden I do it and I'm, yeah. So, but it's not something that is like, oh my gosh, I have to get it out right. I have to do this. I have to do that. I have to knit this. I have to knit that. Like, no, I don't care. I'm going to take my time and I'm going to do things on my own time, you know? So that's just going to be something that will be announced sometime next year. But it will be in the works for the rest of this year. Like I will be doing a bunch of research and a bunch of preparing for that time. So, yeah. yeah. I'm sure you guys will have your guesses in the comments. I'm not gonna say yes, I'm not gonna say no. Like, I'm just not going to say anything until I'm ready to say something about it. But I just wanted to document this excitement for when I do start, I can look back and be like, girl, that's when you decided to do it. I mean, that's when you decided to basically talk about it or like, because I'm not really talking about it. I'm talking around it, talking in circles but this is the first time I'm actually putting it out into the internet world so that when I come back to it, I'm like, wow, it was at around this time where I thought about it. Because yesterday is when I thought about it. I was watching a video and all of a sudden it was like, bam, it just like, you know, an idea just hits you. And I was just like, absolutely not. No. And then it just kept mm, mm, hitting my brain, hitting my brain. I was like, fine. So I just started doing research and it was just fun. Okay. It's just so much fun doing this. And like, it's such a, it's such a huge step. And I am, I'm not nervous because I can already picture everything in my brain. I'm just like excited to learn more. So it's literally putting my knitting mojo into overdrive, okay? Like, I just want to, I want to finish this so I can get to my mamba sweater so that I can have that because I'm learning so much from my mamba sweater and I'm so excited for that. And then after that, I'm going to be working on the Arctic Light sweater and the balloon sweater. So I'm just like, oh, I'm just ready to 
do more sweaters, basically. And I'm going to be in my textured sweater era. Kahila and I made a whole list of the sweaters that we want to do. The textured sweaters that we want to do. And it's just like... So excited and it's just all so nine sweaters and they're all textured and it's just a mix of so many designers and I'm I'm just so excited yeah anyway oh my phone fell anyway I just wanted to update you guys on my sleeve just now getting started and I want to finish it today I want to finish the sleeve today so that I can start and finish the sleeve tomorrow because I want to be done with this sweater by the 19th. It's currently the 17th. So I want to be done with the sweater in two days. So if I could finish this today, and I can finish another sleep tomorrow, that means by the 19th, I can finish. I can, what? No, by the 19th, I can start or pick my Mamba sweater back up and continue that. So. Those are my plans, and I can't wait to reveal my new plan sometime next year. Maybe later this year. Who knows? Maybe it'll be something that I say for my New Year's resolution at the end of the year. But it's something I'm doing with my sisters as well, so it's like an all of us thing. So we're all excited. Yeah. Anyway, talk to you guys later. <laughs>put these time stamps and tell you it's the same day and I also took off my sweatshirt. I think I was wearing my sweatshirt. I have put my sweatshirt on because it was cold in the house even though it's like boiling outside. But anyway, whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh, I'm here to show you an update. I wanted to finish the sleeve today but that's not gonna happen because I've been knitting all day, okay, probably for like 12 hours on and off and I'm tired as well. I'm ready to go to sleep, okay? I'm ready to read and then go to sleep. I'm probably gonna fall asleep before I get to really read. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I think I showed you what the sweater looked like uh, earlier. This is what it looks like now. Eww. Asleep, woo! So that's the stitch marker right here, the progress keeper right there. That's where I started this morning and here is where I am. So everything here and above is what I've done for today. And I am halfway through the ribbing. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to finish this sleeve. Then I'm going to start on the next sleeve and try to get to this point on that sleeve as well. I'm not gonna finish that sleeve tomorrow, but I will finish it Sunday morning to afternoon. What? Saturday, sorry, today is Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday get half most of that sleeve done and I'll finish it rest of the sleeve on Saturday which is the day that I want to finish this sweater anyway so I'm literally on schedule it's perfect the schedule is correct I am on time okay but yeah I just didn't feel like like straining my wrist and my elbow and all that I have this much yarn left of the third skein. So I will be breaking into my fourth skein for the second sleeve, but probably not immediately because I probably only have like 20 something more row rounds to do on the ribbing of this sleeve and it's not going to take all this yarn. So I'll start the sweater, the sleeve with the rest of that yarn. And I'll just wind up the other yarn when I get to whatever. When I see how low I'm getting on it, I'm tired, okay? I'm going to sleep. So I just wanted to update you on my progress before the next day came because I have not been 
filming regularly. So, yeah. That's cool. I don't know why I said that's cool. Let's just pretend it has something to do with the conversation and it flowed. Okay? Okay. Good night. Hello. There is currently a hurricane hitting where I live. And it hasn't happened in 80 to 90 years. So, Hurricane Hillary, I salute you for making history. <laughs> Yeah, so it's raining like crazy. We're getting like two years of rain in like a day. So that's pretty cool. I'm used to hurricanes. I literally lived in Louisiana and Alabama. We always had hurricane watches, tornado watches. So this isn't anything scary. My parents are from the Caribbean. They're used to that. Like, So we're just like, Californians in general are just like, eh because everyone's just like, we finally have rain. <laughs> anyway, my October sweater is almost done. I have like seven more rounds to go of this sleeve and then I will be done with this sweater, okay? I wanted to be done yesterday, but I was like, you know what? I am not gonna stay up because I wanted to read, I wanted to chill and I didn't want to feel like, ugh, for when I wake up today. And since it's so cozy and nice, it's a little dark, even though it's 15.43, p.m. And but it's like, it feels like it's about to be evening time because it's dark out, a little dark because of the rain and the storm and everything. Anyway, so I'm gonna be, with I'm gonna be done with this today. And I'm also going to continue on my mama's sweater. <laughs> I'm just so excited to get back to it. I need to get a zipper for it, but I need to block the sweater, I'm pretty sure, before I put the zipper in anyway. So, let me see. Okay, yeah, so the sweater should be blocked before I put the zipper in. So, at first, I was going to the zipper in before before I finish the sweater but I'm like I don't want to like half block the sweater before I finish it so I'm just gonna wait until the literal end before I put the zipper in so when I get back to the sweater I have to like pick up for the inside to make the flaps and all that and I'm so excited anyway I keep looking at this because I bought some tags because Alexandra from Alexandra's gone. Gone. <laughs> it's just, a, it's, I'm saying it like that because it's reminding me of when she was teaching me how to say garn. It's not garn, it's gone. <laughs> anyway, she has these labels like these. And I have always wanted labels like those. This is so cool. Yeah, I've always wanted labels like these. They're like brown, cardboard, if they'll focus, whatever. They're cardboard <laughs> labels, and I am going to be doing a bunch of swatching in the near future. So, uh, and keeping them. So I want to label them and tie it to a swatch like i have a swatch right here which i'm not gonna show what it is well i can show what it is you won't even know what it is i made a swatch no this isn't any design or anything but this is a swatch that i made i'll move out the way yeah there we go yeah this is a swatch that i made uh, this is the top and i want to label it so that I can remember the data I made it, the year, what it's for, etc. So I'm excited for that. That just came in today and I'm actually going to start using it right now. Oh yes. Yeah anyway that's all that I wanted to update you guys on. I will tune back in when oh I'm not even in the frame I'm so sorry I will tune back in when I'm 
starting my Mamba sweater again. I'll show you guys my finished October sweater. Well, it basically looks finished now. So, you know, feast your eyes up on it. Woo, beautiful, beautiful, because I'm gonna block it <laughs> after this. So you will not see it finished, actually. Yeah, that is all that I have for you guys right now. I think it is getting close to me finishing this vlog. Yeah, this is the last week that I'll be vlogging in this vlog, and then I will post it for the beginning of September. Hopefully in this video, I will be able to finish the Mamba sweater. That will be great. That will be so great. Okay, see ya. Hey guys, I have finished. <sighs> I have finished my October sweater. It's currently on the blocking mats right now. So I am working on my Mamba sweater. I'm working on the sleeve. Ooh. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, I'm working on the sleeve. But, so I'm doing Magic Loop, right? And I am not loving it. The pattern has you do the sleeves first. So, doing the sleeves first. I am not loving working on it on Magic Loop. So, I'm going to change it to my wooden shorties at first I didn't want to use my shorties because I was just like I don't want to use a different needle for it because I wanted it to all just be on the same worked on the same needle but mm -mm, I cannot I feel like I am a snail I'm at a snail's pace right now working on this on magic loop so I'm going to change it to the shorties and I will be much more comfortable but the sleeve is looking really good you can see I did my short rows so the top of the sleeve is higher so that it can meet up with the bottom of the sleeve basically it gives my shoulder some room like this area you know some room since it's not a raglan so you need that nice room Ooh. Hey guys, it's still the same vlog, by the way. <laughs> I wonder how long this vlog is going to be. Anyway, I am currently about to go out of town with my sisters and my mom. We are heading to Las Vegas to go to a Beyonce concert, okay? First time ever, second concert ever. It's going to be so fun. I'm so excited. But... It's only like two and a half, three hours away to drive there. So we're going to go there for today, Saturday, and Sunday. Anyway, just want to show you this nice slipover that Kayla knitted. has a split hem that everyone likes. I am not a fan of split hems, really, because it makes me feel like a piece of my knitting is missing. But I kind of like it now like with the slip over and stuff i think it's kind of cool did i show you my october sweater i don't know if i did but i'm bringing it on the trip so you'll probably see it on the trip two years ago when we went to las vegas we visited a yarn shop so we'll probably visit one the same one this time i'm not gonna get any yarn because i'm done buying yarn okay literal yarn ban we're currently doing a de-stash also by the time this video goes up, I don't know if it'll still be going on, but maybe it will. We are destashing a lot of our hand-dyed yarns that we won't be using. And some other wool yarns that we won't be using. Just to clear out our stash. We have a lot of... You guys, as you guys know, or if you don't know, my siblings and I, we buy... We overbuy for our projects, so we always have a bunch of yarn left over on purpose. I would rather have a bunch of yarn left over than not have enough, okay? Or have just enough, and I'm panicking, thinking I'm playing yarn chicken. Absolutely not. So we always have a lot of leftover yarn, so we're like, let's just, like, clear out our stash, whatever. I did that, and it, like, made me even more excited to knit my stuff because I could see 
everything in my stash. I'm like, oh, that's for that, that's for that, this for this, this for that. And I have mostly sweater quantities anyway, so I'm just like assigning projects. And I have a bunch of single skeins and stuff, but most of them, no, if not all, yeah. All of them are from either Sweden, Norway, or Denmark when I went and visited last year and this year. So now my stash, like everything in my stash has a project basically. Even my hand dyed yarn that I have, I kept all the sweater quantities that I wanted. They are all Akatar yarn from the Akatar collection. Is it two years ago already? Oh my gosh, has it been two years already? Yo! Doing? Oh, my bad. You're fine. <laughs> Can't say hi before you guys dip hey, off without saying bye. I'm not going to leave without yeah, saying anyway. bye. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I have all of my Akatar sweater quantities. I cannot wait to make sweaters with them because I want to showcase this yarn so badly. And I have plans for them, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, and then all of the yarn that's on my bookshelf are all. They are mostly sock sets. So like a sock skein with the mini skein. Yeah. So almost all of them are those sock sets. And if they aren't, they are t-shirt yarn. So I have this yarn right here. You can't see it, but I'm looking at it right now. That yarn is for the cumulus tea. That yarn is for the poppy tea. And that yarn is for another toast the tea. And then I have a beanie yarn, and then everything else is a sock set. So <laughs> everything is assigned. I'm so excited. It's just like making my knitting mojo go crazy, okay? Anyway, I'm currently, the project that I'm going to bring, I'm, I'm, currently, I'm currently knitting my mamba sweater. And I finished one sleeve. Well, I finished the inner pocket where the zipper is going to go, and I finished one sleeve, and I'm working on the other sleeve, but I also knit across the body, so now all I have to do is pick up underneath the armhole, and then just start knitting. So I didn't want to have to, like, knit across this, knit across that by the time I finish the sleeve, so now... My body is ready to be picked up and my sleeve. I am pretty sure I will be able to finish the sleeve today, especially on the trip. And let me see. Maybe I should put some extra skeins in here with me just, just to be safe so that I don't have to dig in the trunk for yarn. But it is in my mood bag, which I got in Sweden last year, and I'm bringing my purse, of course, my regular purse and my mood bag, and I'm ready. I'm excited for this trip. Let's go. Oh, to our hotel we're like 30 minutes early before check-in so Malika and my mom are gonna go in and check in anyway and then if we get our key if our rooms are ready then we'll just go in I did a good bit of my sleeve to be honest I feel like I did like half like I was like half of this before you know like just take half of that and I did half of a sleeve so I don't think I have that much of the sleeve left, but we'll see. I'm excited. It is actually not as ha hot as I thought it would be here because of the hurricane that came and hit us last week, a few days ago. 
<laughs> still last week but a few days ago we got mm -hmm. hit by hurricane hillary so even parts of nevada i think las vegas was in that path as well so everything has cooled down significantly because two years ago when we were here around this time it was like 110 degrees and it was like 80 degrees at night 10 p.m disgusting okay so anyway that is all i don't know what we're gonna do i think we're probably just gonna chill for now <sighs> hopefully and then i can just chill and knit and i'll show you guys around the hotel it's gonna be normal i mean our hotel room at first and then maybe the hotel later and yeah we passed the stadium where the concert's gonna be and it's so close it's so great all righty peace hotel room i will be sleeping here here's the view it's not much oh wait i lied last time it wasn't much oh okay this is nice this is cool okay and yeah i'm sleeping here there's sleeping there okay he was sleeping out there that's a pull-out bed mirror this is literally the same layout as last year another mirror and another mirror and Kayla's filming mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's see how much you can get done I don't know what you're talking about but okay I'm gonna finish my sleep tonight so we're gonna be knitting a lot oh this thing is too bright we're gonna be knitting a lot tonight okay it is 3.53, okay? So, let's get it. Mm, let's get And I'm not going anywhere. Can he let my mom are to the store? But Malik and I are staying here, so I'm parking my behind right here, literally for the rest of the day and the night. And I'm gonna finish the sleeve and maybe start on the body. Okay? Okay. You know how I said that I'll be staying with Malika? Yeah, we're not. We are going to go get some food to eat. And we're probably going to get... miles away. Yes. What is? Target. Nice. and 1.7 miles. Oh, nice. So we're going to go to Target, get some stuff, like toothbrushes, because Kayla forgot a toothbrush. And then we'll get probably some food. No, not probably. We will get some food. And come back. Fruit Alfredo pasta, salad, breadsticks. This mm. one. Mm. 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 came from well we didn't just come from breakfast so we came from breakfast like 30 minutes ago and now we're just going to chill into the concert the concert starts at 8 p.m why can't concerts start at 1 p.m why can't we have a nice afternoon concert go home by 5 p.m type you know the no the parking opens at 5 30 and then you can go in at 6 30 and then the concert starts at 8 Hello? It could have started at 5.30. <laughs> anyway, so it is currently 8 a.m. So we have 12 hours until the concert starts. So what we're going to do is knit. And watch. Well, Inga, Rebecca, Kutabakika, they all posted a video today. So while I watch this, I'm just going to knit, finish this sleeve, and just try to finish this sleep basically that's about it right Malika huh sure I don't know what you said <laughs> <laughs>
We are currently getting ready, literally like getting dressed to go to the concert. It starts for eight, but we're going early, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. I'm wearing my Jesse made, mm, what's it called? Halter, ripple halter. That is supposed to be a tank top, but I turned it into a dress. And I made a slit right here. I'm wearing these sandal wedges with it. This is the outfit I wore in Sweden, okay? I wore it in Sweden and I'm wearing it again. I actually finished it for this concert, but Alex wanted me to wear it in Sweden. So I was like, oh my gosh, you're absolutely correct that I should. So I did and it was great. I'm currently buckling my shoe, but yeah, this is me. Let's see, Kahila, walk into the frame. Walk into the frame. This is me. Look out, cause here I go. Boots. Yes. I know those boots will come in handy sometime. Right? Later. Let's see our height difference. Oh, gonna see my me. mother. Ooh, mommy, you're like my height. <laughs> you're in heels on, you are. <laughs> We all made our outfits, okay? She crocheted her. She crocheted three outfits, okay? <laughs> I just had this on. on so Jeez, Kahila. I can't even fit in <laughs> You are so <laughs> tall. I like see four inch heels, guys. Yeah. yeah. Like, these these are my wedges, okay? Yeah. Nothing. So, this is us. Now, let me let them do their thing together. Look at our Oh, it's not that crazy, actually. It's not, but still, it would be crazy if you know we're identical twins and we're like this. Yeah. I'll just be like this all the time. Like, hey! Like, I'm like six feet right now, and you're just not that much shorter than me. Yeah, because I have one of these. These are like half, one and a half inch heels, so I'm like 5'10. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be restarting my sock project. I frogged it because I got frustrated with it and I was going to turn it into a beanie. But then I accidentally watched a video and it showed me how I needed to do what I needed to do. And I was like, oh, okay, I can just do this again. So here I am. No, I was just trying to change the color and I couldn't figure out how to change the color. Wait, so it didn't come to me. Listen, I put a color change in sock already. I know, me too. Oh, that's the did. thing. I was just trying to remember what I did, and I couldn't oh. remember what I did, so that made me frustrated. And so then I just, because uh, I started doing it, and I was like, this is not feeling right. Mm -hmm. So then I frogged it. This is yeah. how much of that I have done. And yeah, so now I'm restarting for this concert. Oh, I finished my sleeves. BT dubs. <laughs> I finished my sleeves for the Mamba. I have to just fold these in because it's a folded stockinette cuff. But now I'm going to be on the body and I want to finish this in uh, about two days, I'd say. Yeah, so like tomorrow and Monday. So Monday needs to be the last day I work on this. And then I'm going to end the vlog when I finish that. If Monday comes and I'm not done, no, I am done, okay? 
is done. <laughs> so I have that. I'm not going to bring a bag because I'm going to put that in that clear bag right here. This? You need this? Okay. Ooh. Are you putting anything else in here? No project. Oh, this? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, I wasn't going to bring this, but I guess I will bring this. Well, can you look? I'll put you where the light is. There we go. And I'm going to bring these. I'm just going to hold it in my hand, honestly. I have my needle. And I'm literally just going to hold it in my hand. Let's please be a 2.5. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. And then my row counter and my stitch marker, which is a sweater stitch marker. It is so cute. Wait, this way. Okay. Let's do it like this. No, focus on the stitch marker. There we go. It's a sweater. Isn't that cute? Yeah, so I have that. <laughs> and then I have two other regular stitch markers that I'll be bringing as well. Let me stick them in here, actually. I'm going to stick them in this yarn skein. Let's put that there. Stuck them in here. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm basically just going to be holding everything because I'm not going to bring a bag at all. And I have my wallet. Oh, I don't really need my wallet. You just bring me I just brought my passport already. Nice. Okay. I'm going to do that. Put it in here, okay? Okay. And... You got a key card. Nice. Okay. That's about it. But I'm going to start this. And I'm going to start it now, actually. So that by the time I get on the road, at least I can have it on my needles. Mm -hmm. We made it, guys. We had to go all the way around. There's so much traffic. It's crazy. But I'm about to go inside. I started my sock. So I'm just going to tuck it inside the hood of my sweatshirt. And... That's just what we're gonna do. Okay, I'm not gonna bring my camera in, so you may see clips or you may not. I'll probably steal my sister's clips, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bye. Yeah. Probably can't see everyone's dark. I mean, it's light. Bye. Hello. We're back from the concert. I may have inserted some clips. If I didn't, hmm, that's because I didn't feel like it. Anyway. This is what I got done during the concert. It was great. The concert was great. Mm -hmm. I, I wish I had noise canceling headphones because it was way too loud and now I have a headache. But that's what I got done during the concert. So before and during, a lot of it was done during the wait. Like I did the entire cuff and then some of the regular stockinette part during the wait and then in between her sets and stuff I did the rest of this so yeah, pretty nice pretty cool I didn't expect to get too much done so I'd say it's pretty good progress I'm not going to knit for the rest of the time here we are leaving tomorrow morning anyway Thank God. And, right I'm you will not catch I'm to anyone who lives here this is not directed at you this is directed at the state of Nevada, you will not catch me here again, okay? And if you do, you didn't. <laughs> but absolutely not. It's too dry, it's too hot, and it's too dry, okay? I thought California was dry, but no, you know, we, we have water over there. I don't know about this state, but oh. it seems like they have to invent water for it to be a thing because that is a great way to explain it. Bruh. The way it is here, dude, there's no moisture in this air. Mm. Disgusting. Yeah. Anyway, where are my AirPods? Hmm. Anyway, I'm about to go change, get comfortable, and I'm going to read for the rest of the time I'm here. Okay, it is, oh, I didn't even tell you what time it was. It is 11.55 p.m. It is about to be midnight. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to put the timestamp thingy. It's probably going to... There's probably going to be a discrepancy, but it is 11 p.m., okay? It's about to be midnight, and it is, yeah. Anyway, I'm hungry. We're going to get something to eat, and that's it. Okay, goodbye. Okay, guys, hello. 
we are getting ready to leave this hotel. Finally, I'm so ready to go home. I wake up with a headache every day because this elevation and this dryness. I literally felt like I was a desiccating vampire from Vampire Diaries, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna start on my body for my mamba. It's like three hours close to four going home. So I'm gonna work on that the entire time and I want to finish this by tomorrow. Like literally tomorrow, end of day, this needs to be done. So we'll see what happens. Let's see. I'm back home. Hallelujah. Like I said before, Nevada ain't seeing me again. Okay, exaggeration. But mm, not anytime soon at least. Anyway, I'm just writing down that I started this over again. The sock. So that's what I got done, which is so awesome. I'm excited for it again. I feel like I'm gonna have a sock on my needles every single month now. Starting with this, this will be my September sock. <laughs> and what else? Yeah, so now that I'm home, I just unpacked and everything. Put my scraps in my little scrap bag. And pulled out my project. I did a little bit. I knitted a little bit when I was in the car. But I had a headache and I was too tired. So I stopped and went to sleep. And I didn't pick it back up for the rest of the trip. Even when I woke up. So now I'm just going to work on this. And I'm going to try to get like... maybe 20 centimeters done which I know that that's it that's it that's five centimeters that's it that's it that's 10 centimeters that's it that's it, that's it. Woo! okay I'm gonna have to do these two sets 10 times which is kind of like 20 times if I do it like this yeah so that's a lot of knitting. I'm going to do 10 centimeters to start. And then I will come back and update you guys and see if I can see myself doing another 10 centimeters. But I do want to get 20 centimeters done today. Oh, Onyx! <laughs> she jumped on my chair and it turned it. But yeah, I'm going to try to get 20 centimeters done. Anyway, that is it. I'm just gonna work on this, okay? And let me get my 10 centimeters in an update, you guys. I wanted to do 10 centimeters and then see where I will be and then potentially do 20 centimeters. Mm -mm. I actually ended up doing 13 centimeters. So that is very cool. I did the re I did this based on the repeats that I wanted to do, which I thought would be 10 centimeters, but ended up being 13 centimeters, which is pretty cool. So today I was right here. And I got that much done, which is cool. And this is what it's looking like. Let me pull that up. So it's looking like so far. Yee! Oh, that looks so good. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm, beautiful. Beautiful. So I'm going to do that repeat again so i'm literally just going to do that exact repeat again and then do the edging for the body because 
That'll be the length that I want. It'll be longer than the pattern suggests, but it won't be as long as I usually knit my sweaters. And I think I just want this to literally be by my natural waist, not like all the way over my butt and stuff. So I think doing another repeat of exactly what I did will get me the length that I want. And that'll be cool. So I'm gonna go to sleep and tomorrow I should be done with this. If I was able to get this done and I started this basically midday and did all these repeats, I think tomorrow I can do the repeats and also the edging for the sweater. And it should be should be doable. So I'm hoping to finish this tomorrow, literally. I guess we'll see. Well, I guess today, actually, because it's midnight, so it's Monday. So, technically, hopefully today I finish it. I think I can finish it by today, the end of today. If I stay up to midnight, knit all day, basically. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. guys as you saw in that clip right before <laughs> Michaela and Malika put your head down we're sure yeah I have finished my mamba sweater I have not put in the zipper so you didn't finish it I did finish it I can wear it just like this <laughs> exactly True. I sewed down the inside lining part so only this part is open and that's where the zipper is going to go obviously but it'll be sewn down to the zipper and then i sewed down the cuffs of the sleeves and also the body that took it didn't take forever but i was like can this hurry up yeah so this is the sweater mm, bam oh maybe i could just put it on right now it's gonna be hot <laughs> this has been like 100 degrees the past uh, few <laughs> days. Oh my gosh. Boom. Damn, I'm stealing that. <laughs> Good oh. luck, buddy. Oh my god, the sleeves aren't as tiny as I thought it was. Mm -mm. And it's gonna be blown. Yeah. Oh yeah. This looks so good already. It's already where I love my sleeves. So when it's gonna block, it's gonna blah. And then this is gonna be like that with the zipper. Obviously, you guys are just not gonna see the zipper be installed because I'm ending this video today. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I'm blocking picture. it tomorrow. You'll see it oh, in I, one of my podcasts <laughs> or vlog or something. And then I crop the body a little bit so that. It could stop at my natural waist because I didn't want it to, I actually did not want it to go over my butt because I feel like this will be so nice and chic to just, I don't know, just be like I this. agree. Thank you. Dang, what is happening? It's California. Probably a fire. But yeah, that is all that I have for this video. The Mamba sweater is out. Okay, so I will link it down below and you can go and get it yourself and make your own nice zip up sweater don't worry you will see this nice and zipped up in my next video which will probably be a podcast because i was gonna post a podcast this week but i was like oh, it's hot hold on i was gonna <laughs> post a podcast this week and i was like i don't feel like it you know i just don't 
And I haven't been posting this month because guess what? I just didn't feel like it. You haven't? No, I posted a video at the beginning of this month and I was it. Dude, me too. Like my <laughs> Beyonce video was the second video this month. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, Namely because this was like a work on my whips month and I just wanted to zoom through my whips. I still have my Leon sweater, which is the last sweater that I have on my needles. I had five sweaters on my needles, okay? I frogged one and then I finished two. One, two. October sweater. Yeah, that's the second one. Oh. Wait, what was the fifth one? Yes. Did I not have five sweaters? Yeah, I oh, I guess not. I had five projects. So I have my Marco Polo that I finished this month, my October sweater, and my Mamba sweater. And I frogged my Louvre sweater. Okay. Nice. Very nice. So I'm going to work on my Louvre sweater this week. You probably won't see a video on that because I'm not vlogging it. You're working on your Louvre sweater? Oops, I'm sorry, my Leon sweater. <laughs> <laughs> you won't see that because I'm not vlogging that. I don't really feel like vlogging this month of September. A just random vlog. I'm going to do more project vlogs. And I also... love my random vlogs, so if you want some, <laughs> see me. Go to Handmade with Kay. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm not going to have random vlogs. I'm going to have more project videos. And there's going to be one surprise project that you guys will see me working on, okay? It's literally a basic stockinette sweater. But you'll see why it is so nice and so special, okay? But, yeah, that is all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next one. Bye! 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 <laughs>